Welcome. All right, so what I have in store here is I want to show you kind of um, two different ways to solve for this. Now, again, what we want to do is take this equation and rewrite it into slope-intercept form. And you can see this one's fairly close to it, but we have this fraction, which we always hate fractions, right? So I'm going to just kind of show you two different ways to do this. Um, one is writing it like this, which is the same thing. 3 fourths times y is the same thing as 3y three, three um, over 4. And then just writing it, keep it the same way, but then write it different ways. So there's two different ways, and this kind of goes back to solving equations or solving literal equations on how to solve when we have a fraction. One thing, we all, one thing we like to do is always get rid of the fraction first. So since I'm dividing by 4, let's multiply everything by 4. So when I do that, I multiply 4 here, here, and here. Well, these 4s divide out. This becomes negative 60, and 4 times x is 4x. So I have 4x minus 60 equals 3y. Now, to solve for y, I just need to divide by 3. Oh, sorry. Let's divide everything by 3 over here. Just like my product, I had to multiply by both. I have to, when I divide, I have to divide by both. So that goes to 1. Well, 4x divided by 3 is just going to be left with a 4 thirds x. Negative 60 divided by 3 is going to be a negative 20 equals y. Now, to write it into slope intercept form, I can just rewrite this as y equals 4x minus 20. Now, let's kind of look at this the other way to kind of see if this works. The other way to get rid of fraction is multiply by the reciprocal. So to do that, I'll just multiply both sides by the reciprocal. And again, when I multiply this side, I have to multiply both terms by this reciprocal. So x times 4 thirds is just going to be 4 thirds x. And negative 15 times 4 thirds, you multiply the numerator and then multiply this denominator. So 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. Divided by 3 becomes a negative 20. Obviously, any times you take a number and multiply it by a reciprocal, that goes to 1. And what you notice, ladies and gentlemen, is you have the exact same answer as I had here, which I just rewrote as y equals 4x minus 20. Now I can identify what m and b are. So m equals, ah, I didn't write that there. m equals 4 thirds, and b equals negative 20. So therefore, in this equation, I can say that the slope is 4 thirds, and my y-intercept is going to be negative 20. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation um, in slope-intercept form. Write the equation in slope-intercept form and determine the slope and the y-intercept. Thanks.